Hummingbirds typically migrate south for the winter, but a species found in British Columbia has been sticking around longer than expected. They're finding that there are hummingbird feeders available, and when people realize that hummingbirds are coming to their feeders, they just leave them out longer and they, they're starting to withstand the winter. At a population level, they're here because we have these hummingbird feeders out, and their population has been quite dramatically increasing with warmer and warmer temperatures over winters over the years. 20 years ago, these birds weren't here, they were quite rare. With temperatures dropping drastically this winter across Western Canada, how does the smallest bird in the world survive? Hummingbirds do need to eat every day, and that's the real challenge in a cold, um, when we have a major cold snap, like we've experienced in Vancouver is now coming uh, west. That cold snap is a real problem for them, not in terms of them keeping their own body temperature, that they're actually able to do quite well because of feathers and their endotherms, that means they generate internal body heat. So they have, like, you know, we see birds in winter all the time. Birds are very good at maintaining their own body temperature. The issue for the hummingbird primarily is food. They quite literally are relying on these feeders right now. Um, the, the, the best solution is one part sugar, just regular uh, white sugar, to four parts water. Water solutions can freeze when the temperature falls below zero degrees. Here are some ways to help keep your feeder from freezing. The easiest way is simply bring your feeder indoors overnight so that you then can provide them in the morning, ideally at dawn, which is because they have a very important meal. They, their most important meals for hummingbirds are right at dusk and dawn, right before they go to bed and they wake up. I've already started seeing people putting uh, lights around their feeders, like little ornamental um, Christmas lights. Um, you know those hand warmers, that, the instant hand warmers where there's like a chemical reaction? Putting a couple of those in like a wool sock and wrapping that around your feeder seems to keep it from thawing. So the, people are coming up with all sorts of ways of keeping these feeders from, uh, from freezing. It's all because they care about the hummingbirds. It's, it's kind of nice to see. Because of humans, hummingbirds have changed their behavior to stay here in Canada for the winter. To help them survive the bitter cold, follow the advice of the experts.